Vai. Alright, my name is Tuta Jozo and a lot of people know me as Gizi because I've been using this nickname for a long time and yeah, even cycling friends and also walking friends, colleague, my colleagues also know me as Gizi. Yeah, this is about me trying to race in, in the Johor Cycling Series 2024 and I will go in through all the details all their difficulties and then all their highs and low about their race and yeah let's go through i am walking as a front office in a hotel currently i'm walking in singapore and yes it's been around one year and something <laughs> but i really passionate about cycling and since uh, the first time I'm coming to Singapore, I bring my bike. Um, obviously, that's how much I really love in this sport, you know. Yeah, since then, I've been uh, encountering this uh, new type of like riding in uh, like island and a new city. Obviously, in my country, we are used to ride on the right side of the lane and then Singapore. And even in Malaysia, they are riding on the left side of the lane, so it's a bit tricky in the first few times that I'm riding on the road. But um, more and more, I'm trying to use it with the road system in Singapore and even in Malay. Even though I'm riding for like two, three times in Malay last few days. Ah! Alright, so this is day one of me going to race for the Johor cycling series I am now leaving my home to go into Malaysia oh yeah the sand's hot but it's better than raining you know <laughs> so currently we are at the Mishon area I've been riding for like almost uh, 20 minutes I think and still riding and heading to Bulan <laughs> I'm quite nervous and excited at the same time. I don't know why. And there's a bridge that's going to Malaysia. Wow. I just a bit worried that I had to pass water last time and then after that that will be it. I might be okay, hopefully. Keep going. Oh my god, my back! You know, I put a lot of things, but I try my best to like minimize everything that I need for my race. And then the, the three nights stay, I, I the those things I really need for those three nights stay. And yeah, this is yeah, this is what I carried, but it's more than more than enough. So it's quite heavy. I have like camera. GoPro, bike stuff, clothing, food, nutrition, I uh, shoot all the things I put it inside. It's really really heavy. Sometimes I feel a little bit, you know, suffering <laughs> because it's quite heavy. But who well, knows? Keep going. Let's go. Oh my god Okay, I have to go on the left side okay. The officer told me that I can keep on the left side but God dang it Can I press two? Can I get... Okay, I need to put it Okay, let's go Oh shoot! Okay, we are. Okay, I'm gonna close my video. Bye. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, baby. Here we come, JB. Haha. <laughs> Going first. Hey John, we check the on go down. Okay. I, I think I am on the highway road. Whether I am supposed to go or not, I am not sure. But uh, just to be safe, I'm very sorry. I don't know where am I going to just now. I can turn back. Oh shoot, man. After I checked the map wrongly and then I ended up being in the highway and then somehow I I exit on the first exit that I saw on the highway and then I just call grab and then I go to my Airbnb place. So this is my Airbnb view. Now they have like big boat and the race that I need to start with is more on there. Um, last year, I have a uh, quite good stuff, uh, which is I've been racing in Singapore to different potential criterion as a Novi category, which is like an entry level. They just uh, doing this race just to be make sure um, like you are quite good enough. And they we have been doing like two, three cleaning session and those who pass the cleaning session are allowed to race in the open novice category which is quite good but unfortunately like a disaster hit uh, before the race day I'm doing night shift as obviously my walks and this is like a 24 hour shift so you don't know which shift are you working on so and, and luckily I was working a night shift and then the next day I have to race Actually, I was hyped, but my body isn't. Um, even though my mind and my, you know, my adrenaline kickings, but uh, my body is cannot follow. You know, because I didn't sleep for the whole night, and then the next day, I race, uh, which is not a good result. And turns out I'm only finishing like the dearest position. Uh, for me, it's like I don't say I'm satisfied, but I'm quite okay with the result because. As you can see in the result, I am the only Burmese in the whole uh, groups, and yeah, I'm quite satisfied because uh, for me, like those things that I've been working on, um, these kind of like opportunities are like I can be, I can, I cannot get in one in fact in my Myanmar, you know, so it's a bit tricky, and yeah, I like it. I like the experience and all the opportunities, you know, as obviously I can be with Vidas again, Mark Avidish, just have to listen and sub cools. This kind of like uh, those pro riders, seeing these like riders making me more into like racing and, you know, riding really fast. So, yeah, since then I feel like uh, I really want to be like. Uh, Okay, I'm not to be that level one day. Obviously, I'm an amateur cyclist. I've been riding for like six years or something. So I have experience, but I don't, oh, I'm not, I'm not really, you know, confident myself as like one day I'll be that level, but I'll try my best. That's how I decided. And then like, that's how I determined to like, um, go into this racing and stuff. I'm used to race back in Myanmar because obviously I can be the pro in there in that time but I'm most likely riding with the group called RCC, Railwood Cycling Club 
the uh, the founder, the writer, and the and the team. They are very generous. They are very kind, and then like they teach me a lot of things. So yeah, because of them, I'm most likely yeah I'm becoming um, like into the next level. If I'm not driving with them, maybe I will be like a、uh, amateur cyclist who is passionate, but not into racing things. But now I am like I feel like I'm confidently say that、um, I am really quite good. Not the best, as in my, as in my writing culture, you know. So yeah. Just race it like. If you don't try. Good morning. Um, day two that I have been arriving in、uh, Malay, which is. Last night I have a really bad headache, and until now I feel like I'm a bit weak, and it's like a light headache in my in my head. And now I'm actually I I should supposed to be riding on like a, a bit of like、um, zone two ride for this morning, but、um, my coach Eko told me like you should ride for like zone two ride the early morning, but I cannot. I woke up very late, and then. My head is like very, very. I mean, headache is like very bad. Now I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then let's see how I can make it out. Cause after this I have to go to the the race kit to collect and then maybe I have to go to Cast Bicycle. I found on the Google Map which is、um, they can fix my bike because the、uh, brake on my rear wheel. Which is, which is a break from my work. Really, is like making so much noise. I, I try to fit my bets, but it's cannot, you know. So I'm thinking I'm gonna、uh, go to my can.、Uh, but the thing is, I'm gonna go to the race collection area. Whether can they fix my bike or not, I'm gonna ask them. I believe that today might be a bit day. I'm gonna take a, so much video over there. Then yeah, let's see how. Let's do. So for this race, I'll be riding in the Master A、uh, categories. So there will be a lot of like good and then a strong rider.、Uh, as in on the race,、uh, because this one is not like、uh, very updated. So I don't know how many riders inside and then how many categories at the very last moment yesterday. So the day before the race, I go to the race briefing, and then I realize oh, there will be a lot of rider, and then there will be this kind of category under twenty three, master, master A, master B, and then like veteran or whatsoever. So、uh, all these things are like full in、uh, in this same category. Okay, you are riding in the one under twenty K. Ah,、uh, you'll be riding in the whole group. So all the women, so all the men's, and all the twenty、uh, three year old or.、Uh, Maybe thirty five plus. All these people will ride in together. As long as you are in the front, you have the high chance of、uh, winning the race. So it's、uh, quite interesting. Right, got my race kit.、Uh, but I have to go through. I have to show my bike to the mechanic. Let's see. Just one minute. Quick check. Right, so I fixed my bike, and they said I gonna get a free coffee. So thank you, boss. Yep, thanks for the coffee. Yeah. Thank you for the spot. Oh sure. Oh <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Well, dude. Oh my God, these guys are so generous and welcome. You know. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. All right. Yes, yes. Got the mango juice and waiting for my burger. So lovely food store over here. Even though it's a little bit hot over here, but yeah, because it's twelve. 
it's like the noon time so yeah you couldn't expect more but yeah i'm waiting for my food and then because i've been thinking i'm gonna stay here as long as i can until like in the evening because 4 pm they said they're gonna go for like a uh, ride uh, before that, I might be going back home, change, come back, or like riding somewhere on, uh, testing my new setup. Uh, yeah, for the moment, I'm gonna have something to drink. Alright, final check before tomorrow race. My bike's quite okay. I have to woke up very early in the morning around 5 a.m. Uh, reach gotta be there in 6 so yeah pretty much this is what I want all right let's go back there's my there's my head menu okay, you see quite nice I'm just, I'm just wandering around I wish I could go to a lot of places and I just now I saw the legal land but uh, obviously I don't have time to visit around this place so just maybe next time maybe next time alright so you can see it's a bit weird some road in this area I don't know is it because of like the countryside or whatsoever but some area like this kind of road which is completely abandoned I don't think you know at least like for like 10 car passing through this area and some area they try to like block the road I was like oh just wondering what happened or maybe like this like abandoned place or whatsoever I am not sure but pretty interesting you know so Malaysia is like but I believe if you are uh, would like to like try to training like those kind of like uh, in the training here have like a little bit of like hill climb and also this kind of area you can try to loop around and around and then just like i did in singapore uh try to loop around and around and then yeah you can try to train your interval and then your activity test or whatsoever because obviously there's no car uh, interrupting so yeah it's pretty amazing let's go So on the race day, in the morning, uh, actually at night time I cannot sleep very well. Like I woke up like three, four times before my alarms, and then I'm, you know, this kind of like get feeling, you know, like when you're waking up, you know, in order to not missing the starting hour, you know, what if you miss the alarm and you stay sleeping, the race go on, what if, what if, all these, what if, you know, and then I was like, uh, very nervous and I cannot sleep well but luckily I sleep very early in the previous night and then I was like okay I woke up I try to uh, like wash my face and all having my breakfast and then I feel like okay I still have I still have like very clear mind so it's good it's good let's go that's how I spend my day and then I try to change everything's done and then I leave the, my Airbnb I try to go out from the shelter and then really like the roads are wet as oh man it's very very i was like why why today why today bro it's like literally um so wet and on the way to the race event a place i uh, i was riding quite slow and then boom the rain stopped i tried to shelter under the bus stop it's like a few bus stop on the way uh, it's like man it's very disaster I feel like why why today oh my god last night will rain 
I heard some like thunder so uh, like thunder while I was sleeping but I don't know if it's rain but it was rain I hope it's not gonna rain <laughs> oh my oh lord what a day for me it's like I didn't prepare for those um I mean I didn't prepare for the rainy stuff I'm preparing a lot for the sunny hot situation but not the rainy situation oh my god this keep happening I, I don't know what to do I don't even know what to do and then I like and like somehow I reached the arena and then I tried to look in for like where is that but um, I, I, I how can I say I feel like the event itself is like very organized and then all the like supply they given us is like very uh, very on point but the only thing is the announcing announcer on the event itself there's like very very um, I mean, um, not frequently, very very often only. It's like uh, when I when we use there, they they said like starting six a.m. to um, uh, queue at the start line. But everybody's there already. Nobody, no, there's no information or there's no announcement. So everybody keeps like pushing and then like try to squeeze in as much as they could. There are some people like bringing their bike on the fence and then they put in the middle and they just try to um, like climb over the fence and then like go in there and stop. So all this like chaotic, you know, I, I'm trying my best to like put on the side, put uh, my bike on the right side and then I just like, okay, I just want to stick here. That's uh, how I'm thinking. And then uh, around like 6.30 or something and then they try to announce like, can you move a little bit or whatsoever. And then a lot of people are like, frustrated, you know, like they've been coming quite early to get this place uh, because there's no great uh, like position or whatsoever, you know, you just first can first self you know so um yeah that that's how it is uh, a lot of people are frustrated but they don't, nobody want to move back but uh finally like mm, there's like police and then all the motorbike they are uh, try to split the lane and then they go at the front i was thinking why did it i was thinking like why why they just uh going around and then i try to reverse much easier isn't it <laughs> but it is what it is and yeah uh after like a bit uh, chaotic we just move a little bit back uh, like in the front they have like five meter a bit, uh, from the official stuff and then they do all these like um welcoming ce ceremony or whatsoever and then th the race on but as soon as we start the rain start hitting but it's not like heavy rain it's like still a lot of rain and then Racing in the rain, you know, the roads are wet, the mat from the front wheel stick in your face. Man, that's the worst thing you want to happen. And then the roads are slippery, and then just before like uh, we reach to the highway road, uh, we are still riding like 10 km before we hit the highway section. There's been, like two, three crash just in front of me. I'm, I have one time, on my right side, I knew that like something's gonna happen, you know. And then I tried to very, very care. And then the road is quite wide, but however, there's like this kind of like bumping into each other. Some crash. Just my next rider, he's crashing. I, in my mind, what if I crash here? What if I have mechanical? And then what if I do not finish? Just before I hit into the highway road which is not even like 5 km man, that's in my brain, you know I was like, oh so many things happening at the same time and then we hit the highway section uh, because, uh, like I mentioned, the grip position is like randomly you are where you are, you know if you are in the front, you are lucky like enough to be in the front so I've been writing in the front group for like almost um, 80 km of the race means after we hit the highway road, we keep riding, we keep riding. I at the front, uh, become in the second group. I don't mind. I don't want to race at the front for full gas because I know I'm not like this kind of um, like enthusiastic guys. So for me, I try to race, I try to finish as safe as possible, and then I try to finish as my best result, you know. My this is 
me versus me, you know, I don't want to be racing with other, even though it's like a race. I understand because this for me this is an opportunity to test my like uh, long going uh, racing spirit. <laughs> Which I don't know what to, to, to say, you know. So uh, we've been uh, trying to ride. There been a few crash uh, before we head to the like the town session. The roads are like sometimes good, sometimes bad. But the thing is, I'm trying to uh, ride as efficient as possible. I try to ride behind the rider, in between the riders. So I'm trying to shelter from the uh, winds because I don't know the wind uh, directions uh, whatsoever. Uh, obviously, this is my first time riding in Malaysia and the longest ride I've been riding in a while, you know. So I've been so stoked and and I've tried to ride at the back. My nutrition plans, I've been discussing with Eku just uh, maybe like a week before the race. I, obviously, he is like a very... Um, uh, yeah, obviously, he is very experienced rider and also he just finished the mountain bike coaching. Uh, calls from UCI so yeah I've been talking a lot with him I've been video chat a lot with him he's been uh, guiding me how to ride and then the nutrition plan uh, so yeah I've been uh, try to follow in the expression I have SI scale I have like energy bar in my bottle will be one electrolyte one will be mineral water so this is my race plan so everything is on point uh, I've been trying to eat my energy bar, drink uh, electrolyte and then having my SIS energy gel, everything is from point. I don't have like this gap feeling that uh, I'm gonna puke at some point, I'm gonna like overload at some point. So this kind of feeling, I don't, I never have, uh, that's not an issue. But there's one time I hit a hole which is like quite big enough. It's not only me, the rider in front also like hit, so I have no choice. I hit, it's too hard, I can hear my ring sound, you know. I was thinking like, please don't crash, the other thing, please don't flat, that's in my mind. So I passed the test, I got it, on the way there will be two K1 uh, challenge as well, so actually it's like a bridge, the bridge is so high, the elevation is like 48 meter or whatsoever, but uh, if you're riding, uh, rolling here, and you've been, uh, you will have a hard time uh, trying to adapt this kind of like elevation, very like, very very fast. So um, for me, I was uh, thinking on the way, I don't know, I don't mind, I don't even know where is KOM. And then I saw the signs like one kilometer to the summit. I don't really want to. So I just finished drinking my gel, so I had the adrenaline keep hyping me up. So I tried to uh, like clutch on the left side and then I tried to uh, squeeze into the front as much as I can. And maybe I will try to like Attack on the front, <laughs> maybe I try to win the KOM. What if I get like the K uh, the Bogado GLC? That's in my mind, you know. I was like, because I obviously these uh, strong riders are there, so I cannot win the uh, sprint. I mean, like, I, what if you know, what if, what if, all these what if, and then I try to squeeze in on the left side. I pass more than 20 riders at the time because the elevations difference is like so high. When we are going uh, on the way uh, to the first KOM, it's like rolling here, descent, and then going up. So there's speed. But this one is like pure flat, and then the elevation is like keep high, high, high. And then at some point, maybe like 12 or 13 percent gradient or whatsoever. And then I was like, try to squeeze in. I try to squeeze in around like 10 wheel from the front. So it's my ideal position I'm trying to do but the thing is it's not only me racing a lot of people are like try to swarm in at the back so they just uh, try to squeeze but at the time I knew it I was gone I was done you know I'll be done you know so I'm thinking like please stay in the group stay in the group stay in the group and then unfortunately my legs are like zero power you know and at some point, I've been I look at my uh, Garmin. It's like twelve. Man, it's not even riding a bike because I would I was literally stopping, you know. And then I was like, okay, never mind. And then there's a few guy at the back. They said like, I hey, what's wrong? And I was like, maybe cramp. I think I don't know. My legs are like a little bit sore or whatsoever. And then yeah, we riding in the group. 
I try, because actually after the Samic, they try to descend, we can still see the Paladon, but okay, never mind. I'm not gonna chase that. As long as I'm riding with this like six or seven rider, I'll be okay. If they chase, I will follow and then I will be squeezed back to the friend group. That's my ideal, that's my like plan. But uh, of course, they are also racing, you know, they try to attack. One guy attack, this old guy, very nice. I'm trying to follow him. Actually, I'm not trying to. I hope someone try to follow and then I'm trying to like s s just stay at the back, you know, stay at the back and then like we go together. Or maybe we just ride it all together. That's my idea. And then at some point, I, uh, my legs, after the descent, there's another hill. I am still doing great. But the thing is, on the left side, they stop in this 60 km, the fellowship rider group, just for like uh, try to try and our, I mean, uh, because if they are on the road and then this 120 km rider uh, racing, there will be like a lot of clash. So they stop them. They stop on the car on the right side And then your boy is like riding in the group I'm trying my best to like squeeze in And then you know what? I'm the last person I look back I was hurt and then there's nobody People keep riding, riding, riding I was like oh man please I don't want to be like so stupid you know I don't want to be so stupid At the front at the front of like this 60 km fellow They are cheering up I don't know uh, the high, the vibe is so high because they're not like keeping uh, down or laughing at me, but they just like keep riding, keep riding. So, yeah, 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 I'm keep pushing. I'm trying to uh, put my hand on the bar, uh, close my eye. I am okay. I would say it's like quite shame, but I am not sure. But I'm just like okay. I'm keep riding. I'm keep riding. I'm keep riding. I got it. I just there's like a little bit of descent. One guy on the left side is like, ah, oh, I cannot. I said, bro, come on, come on, and then. I've been encouraging that my, my tanks like empty. My okay, the, there's one thing. My body is okay. My mind very clear. My stomach, my nutrition, everything is on point. Only my legs don't have energy anymore. And then that's kinda a bit frustrating. And then after I'm riding alone, because I obviously I have to let them go at some point because this guy also quite still left in the tank so I believe they chasing the front group or I'm not sure but uh, obviously I'm riding along and then I look at the back this is a big group I thought it was 60 km the group the fellowship rider so I was like oh man if they are trying to swallow me I would be so shameful you know I, that's in my mind what if they're gonna sell it? and then you will see this 130 km rider and then you got these guys that pass over you that's that's in my mind I was trying my best to like not let them down or maybe like I'm I'm just trying to ride on the left side and then when they pass I realized this is the second group this is the second peloton and then I was like I tried to hop in I can I'm riding with them for like more than five kilometer or six kilometer still okay but at the last 10 kilometer my body is gone my body is gone which especially my legs there's a cramp on my foot uh, the ankle is like a bit sore and then you know this uh, because you are riding in the rain for like almost three hours and then your body is left nothing and then I keep riding I keep riding I keep riding around Mandini area my body is gone I'm riding along I'm riding along there's like two lady and one uh, no there's two guys and one lady try to pass back, I try to squeeze in, I in my mind like this girl can ride, why can't you ride? This is in my mind. But um the, the pain in your legs and then the desire like the encouragement, you know what you want in your mind is like fighting. I understand I, I've been understanding this concept for like a long time but uh, at some point you gotta let it go you know and then I check on the left side there's like this kilometer sign 5 kilometer 4 kilometer 3 kilometer I think around like 2 3 kilometer or something there's one guy riding uh, he's just riding on his own and then I was like try to hop on it I head down and try, I only look in his wheel because obviously I don't he's like riding quite strong and then I was like okay keep riding keep riding keep riding there's like a few riders uh, also catching us so I've been riding at the back you know you boys very good at like drafting so I'm just squeezing at the back and then at the last 
wrong number. I don't know. Oh my God, man, that's uh, you turn right. And then I will just write. If I would know this is a finish, I'll be try to push a little bit to the front three rider, and then I would like spring because uh, the guy I'm riding with them with together, these are not sprinter. They just riding a little bit fast only. So I I got so I didn't. Oh, this finish already, and then I read, I try to squeeze a little bit, and then I try to spring, and yeah, this is how it is. So I just finish. Um, it's not the ideal result that I really want, but however, this is like the best I got uh, after uh, walking and then like having no training and having not a proper you know plan of racing or whatsoever so this is what i got but i am trying to enjoy the result but after i finish after i passed the finish line i will i knew i was like maybe 10 or like maybe 15 minutes late from the uh, first finish at the winner so yeah i don't i don't mind i don't bother to be sad or upset with this uh, but after I cross the finish line, I feel like I really enjoy it. And then I, I feel like I really want to cry. So at some point, you know, um, since last year, after every race, that's popping in my mind. Because if I'm not coming out from my country, and then walk in Singapore, walk in abroad and then when riding in the different country, I wouldn't get this kind of opportunity. And then I feel I've said I feel sad. Especially my friends, you know, there are a lot of people that I used to ride with. They have this kind of potential and then they have more skill than me. Why they can get this kind of opportunity? You know, this all these things like um pop in my mind and then at some point I'm thinking like Maybe it's because of me I didn't get a good result. If someone in my place, it's obviously if even my friend said cool, maybe Jonathan, talk out this kid in my place, they would have done something much better, you know. 